This is an Arkansas Gray from Co. Whetstones with a slurry stone. This was a gift, an early Christmas gift from a good friend of mine. Uh, Jonathan Coe, who runs Coe Whetstones, one man operation. His stones are well regarded. Uh, you might be familiar with the Dota Creek, or I think it's a Bethesda Black. Uh, he's out of Arkansas, which is why this is called an Arkansas Gray. It doesn't have anything to do with brand name Arkansas stones like uh, an Arkansas black or a, a, a soft or hard Arkansas or the, the, the vaculite that comes out of the Washita Mountains uh, in Arkansas. Uh, but it's from Arkansas and it's one of the reasons he uses the term Arkansas for this stone but it's a beautiful stone if you look at it wonderful modeled appearance just lovely it's huge uh, this is a three by eight by like that's over an inch easy and the slurry stone is just two by six by at least one inch so I mean this is basically another home uh, I would uh, say to Jonathan that you'd be probably better off maybe cutting this stone in half uh, and sending half of this or even a two inch version of this as a slurry stone for this stone uh, I don't know uh, what kind of work you, it, it entails and stuff like that so it may be easier to do it like this but uh, you don't really need a six by two stone people don't really need that uh, whether or not people want it or not I, I don't know but uh, people want all kinds of things. Uh, I don't know anybody else that sends a slurry stone that big. So, uh, but anyway, Jonathan said that the composition of this stone is limestone. And I read that on his Facebook page, which I'll link to down at the bottom of, that, of this uh, video. But... He basically told someone limestone and a crap load of silica, <laughs> which uh, should make for a really nice home. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I know that it, it, they are well regarded. I've talked to two or three people that I know whose opinions I respect, and I've heard nothing but good things from them about this stone. So, uh, this is, uh, I think what he calls a rough cut. He sells them two different ways. Now I have no idea whether or not this applies to any other stone I, that he sells. I, but I know that I read on his Facebook page uh, that he sells what he calls a rough cut which is I think what this is. If you look it says low saw mark along here and along here and basically what the rough cut is to my understanding is that it comes off the saw with a minimum amount of preparatory work. Now I know that he did some prep work because this surface is fairly smooth and if you look the bottom of the slurry stone, okay, so he did something there. But obviously not very much since he's um, doing uh, like a discount for this, for this. Now I understand that I that's what I read on his, his Facebook page three weeks or a month ago. So, uh, don't quote me as a uh, an expert or as someone who, don't take what I am saying as current for what he's, his operation is doing. But this is my understanding. Now, uh, what I'm going to do... I just wanted to show this stone first because we're gonna we're gonna work on this stone we're gonna level it and prep it and then we're gonna hone on it 
I, I will be doing some testing and stuff before I do get any hung videos from this. So it'll be a while at least, uh, a few weeks, couple weeks at least, before I set out any honing videos on this. But uh, I'll be doing a, uh, a, a sick powder level of this stone and prep it up to about 600 grit. Uh, I'll do a video on that and then we'll I'll move on to testing and then you'll see a video of this stone and and its performance and all of that. But I don't expect anything but good stuff. Uh, like I said, I've spoken to several people, well, three people that I know that use this stone, but I also know that uh, there are a lot of people that use uh, his Dota Creek and absolutely love it, uh, and uh, a couple of his other stones, and, and he's well regarded in the community uh, for the quality of his stones and for his uh, business practices and all of that, so uh, really happy to get this. Uh, my friend who gave this to me, thank you so much. This is really awesome. I've wanted to try uh, Jonathan Stone's for a while now this is supposed to be a finisher he's got marked on here 12k plus if I can get it to show up there I like the the engraving he does on the side of the stone he put my name on it because I'll be the one doing the prep work otherwise I think he puts cold wet stone on there and of course the date I think yes 2018 All right, Arkansas gray polisher 12k plus now we understand that this is a natural stone and so this really doesn't truly have a grit rating. That's an estimate of Jonathan's uh, from his own testing that it, it produces an edge similar to or better than 12K. Now we're going to put that to the test as well but I can tell you right now we won't be comparing it to 12K because I've never honed on the 12k home but I have honed on many many finishers and we're going to compare the finish of this uh, through a shave test uh, not against other stones or anything like that and we're going to see real world what this stone does and uh, I think it's going to be great <laughs> I love this thing man it's beautiful it's huge don't drop it on your foot or you'll be walking with a limp for a while <laughs> but it's beautiful and uh, I just wanted to kind of give you guys a quick look at it. Uh, and that's upcoming on my channel. All right. God bless you. And I'll talk to you later.